Well, basically, that that is a very sensitive issue because, I mean, in the community, just to see, because so many people went through so much trauma and so much pain living in that communist regime or because of the communist regime that happened afterwards, that as soon as they see it, it, it just becomes reactive. And they, and a lot of people cannot see anything else. And so a lot of people thought the whole show was like that. And they thought that how come we, as the younger generation in the heart of a Vietnamese community can put on such a such a symbol. Are we now uh, the, the communist infiltrate us? Are they using us? Or and and forgetting that there are over 50 other artworks and that um, there are other kinds of politics that we need to address too. Not just I mean, what about the the politics of gender? You know, and how we use uh, young Vietnamese women's bodies as portrayed through the cat calendars, you know, wearing the Miss, like Miss Vietnam or whatever, yeah. selling products and, you know, things like that. So we need to also look beyond just the dichotomous uh, anti-communist versus pro-communist and that, but yet that article, again, portrayed the, the community as such. It sensationalized it and it provoked them. And unfortunately, a lot of other artists got, got lost because a lot of focus was given on this one photograph. Yeah, we re deeply regret that we had to cancel the performances for tonight as well as tomorrow. Um, the performers, uh, Lan Chan and Zui Tham um, and a whole host of other performers within this musical ensemble called Keep Now, called Yu Nyo, as well as One Mic, which includes um, a variety of different performers, but key within this group uh, are um, Do Le, Do Le An Dao, and then um, Taylor Tu Hing Ngo, Ngo and uh, as well as Jenny Chang Le. And we just want to thank them for having been, um, for wanting to participate in this exhibit. Um, and we really want to apologize to the performers as well as those people who wanted to see the performances uh, for not being able to um, um, follow through on that. Uh, we would like to say though that the reason why we're, we canceled the performances is not out of fear or not out of, um, any logistical problems. Um, we saw that the community was very passionate. We saw how they were um, aggressive. Uh, aggressive and hostile. And we actually felt um, not fear for ourselves. I think throughout the last two weeks, we've, we've been pretty embattled. Um, but it was uh, fear for the safety of the performers and who knows what could have happened. So, but in the end, we just want to say that we deeply regret not being able to, to feature them. Can, can you just kind of make it clear that this is a precaution and not because of any direct threat? Right? Yes. That's right. Yeah. Um, definitely, uh, it was just a sense that things could have gotten out of our control. Uh, easily uh, today, for example, uh, because it was so tense, it was so um, it was such an impassioned uh, discussion that we really felt that if anything happened, then we probably wouldn't be able to live with ourselves <laughs> if um, any anybody that we cared for uh, was hurt or uh, slandered in any way. I started off with this um, project with Chum. Uh, we both really care for the artists. We both really care for the community. Um, that's uh, what our, were the two passions that really drove this uh, project and uh, allowed the exhibition, uh, a beautiful exhibition, come to fruition. It was because of this uh, need to have the different communities speak to one another. And to the very end, I think we did achieve a lot of our goals. We we're very successful. I'm so happy for the artists because they were able to show, um, display their works. Uh, we're very proud to have presented them. Uh, we're also very proud for, for having spoken to a lot of the community members who came out and um, gave us um, positive responses all the time or most of the time so um, we felt like in the end this was uh, an important and historic event well, I just hope that um, that our exhibition doesn't discourage you even though we closed a little early doesn't discourage you from creating art in this community with maybe political symbols or because those symbols do not belong to the communists the color red 
and yellow do not belong to the communists. They belong to everybody. So hopefully we're, they're, we're inspired. And this is a little hope and a little baby step, but you know, this is going to be you know, a long time that this community is going to be around. So hopefully we all come together.